back to the channel for a Sims 3 current household. I asked you guys on Twitter if you were interested in seeing the household that I have been playing for, oh, I would say about a month or probably more. I've been switching between this household and my Sims 4 current household. 95% of you said that you did want to see this video, so here I am. So this is my Sim. This is Miss Aubrey Holton, and as you can see, she is actually going to give birth. So before we even get there, I kind of want to look at the family tree and give you guys a little bit of a background because I was originally going to film this a little while ago and then I just had a lot going on and I didn't get to film with the two sims that I started out with. Well, I actually started out with Leah. Um, she was a sim I started out with. I can't remember what her last name was originally, but this is her mother and her mother is just the cutest thing in the world. And then we've got Jeffrey, which is her dad. Now her mom and her dad had some issues, I would say. Uh, Leah kind of, well, Leah was more into him and he has commitment issues. So that was a bit of a problem between the two of them because he, he had a wandering eye. He was not completely committed, obviously, because he has commitment issues. So there was a bit of um a bit of some issues going on there. So Leah kind of they both kind of were really childish and Leah kind of went off and cheated on Jeffrey, but Jeffrey also cheated on her. And it makes it even funnier, which it's not funny. It's not funny to cheat, but uh, it just makes it more insane that she cheated with uh, the guy that she he cheated with. So they, they both cheated with another spouse, people, things. You'll see in a minute. <laughs> and then, of course, that is where Mr. Derek Blackman came from. And then we've got Sophia Blackman. So Sophia is Leah and, oh gosh, what is his name? He doesn't ever come around. This guy right here, Ross Blackman, which you guys might notice Jeffrey and Ross because they are going to be in my A to Z baby challenge. Uh, I placed them down. They're just like some Sims that I found on Tumblr or something like that. And uh, yeah, so... Sophia, I mean, um, Leah kind of had a little one night stand with Ross because Ross was actually Jeffrey's like roommate for a long time and he was really into her, but then he got married to someone else and yeah, he just kind of, he's not a good, he's not a good guy either, obviously, but neither is his, uh, his little, his wife who is Candace. Uh, I think that's her name. Let me see, does it show? Yes, Candace is his wife. And Candace cheated with Mr. Jeffrey. So that is where Derek came into play. Now, obviously, Sophia has aged up since I left that household. And so did Lily. And also, um, uh, Derek did as well. Which, let me go here. There he is. But he look, he doesn't look as bad. His hair is not as bad. He looks totally fine. But uh, yeah, so it's been it's been an interesting ride. They actually ended up getting divorced. Sorry, I keep like scrolling over this. Um, Leah and Jeffrey actually ended up getting divorced and they kind of just went their own ways for a while. He ended up she kicked him out. You know, he ended up doing his own thing. And he realized how stupid he is acting. So he went ahead and, you know, he came back over. He apologized to Leah. She wasn't obviously for sure if he really meant it. They had, you know, huge fights and stuff, but they ended up talking it out and they ended up getting remarried and everything was perfect. You know, he kind of decided, you know, I'm going to get some help about this. I'm going to figure out what is going on. And Leah as well kind of got some help because she was thinking, why did I... Instead of just talking to him about it, we both just went off and cheated. So they are perfectly fine now. He still obviously has the commitment issues, but they are perfectly fine. He has actually gotten a job. He is a firefighter. He really wasn't into doing anything. He didn't want to work. He didn't want to do anything. He wanted to quit every job, obviously, because he has the commitment issues. So he doesn't want to commit to anything. But he has been in the firefighter career for a little bit um, now. So he is, it looks like he's a backdraft specialist, and I'm not quite sure what level that is. And Miss Leah is a lead reporter in the journalism career. And my phone just went off, so sorry if you guys heard that. That kind of scared me. <laughs> so then Sophia was in school, like in, um, what is it, where you send them away to school? And so was Lily, but they aged up and they came home. Uh, Lily and Sophia kind of were not a part of the household because they were children when things were going on, and they 
kept getting the wish to actually go away to school so we sent them away because they saw how things were going with their parents and stuff and they just didn't want to be a part of it so they just kind of disappeared i think aubrey may have maybe she didn't i thought aubrey might have went to school but i don't think she did i think maybe she did and then she called and said can i come home so we let her come home i'm pretty sure that's what had happened i've been playing this household for so long like on and off that i can't even remember but there will be pictures at the end that i have taken um, probably, I, I, I'm assuming that I have some from when it all started, so stick around for that, we'll have a bunch of pictures. Now, who we have now is Miss Aubrey, and that is who we are kind of, kind of, you know, carrying on with, and she went to university, and she got the degree in communications, and she met this guy right here, Miles Forthright, so let me just go ahead and kind of tell you about her. She got the charismatic trait for, um, from the uh, graduation and then I gave her the natural cook because she reached the top of the oh I think it was well it was the jock but she's kind of lost some of that now uh her traits are loves the cold hopeless romantic amb ambitious schmoozer and genius so she is a Sagittarius she likes classical music a vegetarian grilled salmon and the color gray so she has met some people at university and just kind of saying she is like so beautiful she's one of my favorite favorite sims that have been born in game like she looks so much like her father it is unbelievable i love her, her like her dark eyes and everything uh but yeah so she went to university she met some people she also as you can see has met mr C sid Cer cerberus or something along those lines and her and sid dated while they were in college and he kind of didn't think that she would be interested in him because he's kind of like the bad boy the rebel and everything like that the only reason he has jock influence is because of her um and she's kind of like you can't tell right now but whenever she has the baby and is in her regular clothes she's like really girly and feminine and he just didn't think that she would be into him but they dated for a while but as you guys can see his traits are not the best he has well he got ambitious because he did graduate which we will get into that in just a second as well but he is a loner so that is a bit of a problem and he's also a hot-headed sim so they had a lot of arguments because he would just kind of out of nowhere just start arguing because obviously hot-headed anything will upset them at any time so they ended up breaking up because she couldn't deal with his just random outburst and then he wanted to be alone all the time but Sid actually absolutely adores her he just freaking adores her and he's kind of made that a little bit more obvious now because he had a D in school and whenever I moved him and Miles in they both wanted to go back to university so they both finished their university and I think he got a C yeah he got a C in science and medicine and I'm pretty sure Miles um got a B so they went back to school, they finished their, you know, situation, but Sid and her still kind of have a thing. She still kind of cares about him. I mean, that was kind of her first, first love. She did date this one guy in school, this guy, I think his name was Chip or something. Yeah, this guy right here. They were kind of a thing, not, I don't think they ever became uh, official. They were just kind of romantic interest and, you know, uh, she met Sid and that was kind of her first love. Now, she started dating Miles. Miles kind of came out of nowhere. They met at the little, um, the rebel place. I can't remember the name of the, the place that is in university. And Miles, let me show you his traits. He has a good sense of humor from graduating. He is socially awkward, so things are a little bit weird with him. He is good and never nude, heavy sleeper, and he is athletic. Now, he had the little wish to become a superstar athlete, but his little, he was graduating with, um, a business degree. So, he's in business, and he's just kind of doing athletic things on the side well I noticed something about Miles because I took Miles and Sid back to university off like I, I like I left her here and I finished up their degree but there were some things that were kind of off about him um he every man he met he was attracted to possibly attracted to but he was also attracted to a couple females but when they were in school he had no wish no desire no thought about her whatsoever where Sid had all these little thought bubbles about her. He had all these little wishes about her. So they kind of just, they kind of rekindled their, their romance, I guess you could say, because they are now romantic interests. And every time, I'm not kidding you, without me even doing it, because we also have this cat, which I was kind of paying attention to, except I'm pretty sure she needs attention now. Yeah, she needs socialization now. But, um her and him would just start flirting out of nowhere and I'm like you're kidding me you have got to be kidding me so I think she thinks 
knows thinks and knows something is going on with Mr. Uh, Miles because he hasn't really shown her affection. Now, she is pregnant, and that was kind of a risky woohoo situation, and I don't know if Miles is really too excited about it. I mean, he got the wish to marry her, but that usually happens whenever you get pregnant within The Sims. Like, they just automatically want to marry. Uh, but I don't believe she's ever gotten the wish to marry him, but she does have this little wish to watch the stars with him. So what I wanted to do, because I have not done it, I want to come over. Well, we're not even going to be able to do it yet because she's going to be, she needs to go and have the baby. So we're going to go ahead and take her to the hospital. I'm going to play a little bit on camera with you guys, but I kind of wanted to ask him possibly if he is interested in females or if he's interested in males because when we went to like I said when we went to university he was he was showing a bit more towards the males like there were a lot more males that he was attracted to which is not a problem like I don't think that they would have any hard feelings or anything of that sort because maybe he isn't quite sure you know if if that's what's going on he he might not know he might be a little bit confused so that's not our cat is it that's not our cat is it hold on no, that's a raccoon. Okay. But we need to give our cat a little bit of love. In. And this is our little kitty cat. And she is a Devon Rex kitten, I believe. I got her when she was a kitten. Um, her name is Heidi. So we're going to have him kind of give her a little bit of love. And we're going to talk to, we're going to feed treats. We are going to also come over here and let's sniff pan. And we're going to pet if we are allowed and go ahead and brush. And just give her a little bit of love in so that she isn't feeling so sad. Um, let me see. I just want to see if she's going to get any sort of wish about him. But I just think it's kind of funny that, you know, I mean, they had this risky woohoo when she got pregnant and everything, but they just aren't affectionate towards, you, towards each other at all. I mean, it's kind of weird. And I was hoping I should have went to Love Day and did the little like love tester thing. That would have been kind of fun because her and Sid did do that and theirs, was, theirs wasn't the highest, but it was like pretty high. So we'll have to see. I don't know. But I'm going to ask him what his gender pre preference is whenever we're done here having the baby because I'm just curious. I haven't done it because I kind of like have been, what? <laughs> Did you see that? Okay. Okay. That's, that's a different way to get to the hospital. Uh, but I was kind of knew, knowing I wanted to film this and you guys were um, voting on Twitter that you wanted me to film this. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to save it for when I film this because I started playing again a couple days ago, a few days ago, who knows, maybe a week ago on and off. And, um, yeah, so I've been really into this household because things have just kind of taken a turn and I love it when they kind of take a turn and it's not like you doing it, you know? Congrat! Oh, we had a baby girl! A happy mother and a smooth pregnancy makes for a happy baby. So we get to choose two traits for her. What do we want to name her? Um, I kind of had two different names picked out and I think I'm going to go with Chloe because I've never used that name and we're going to name it like the damn Kardashians. I know, I know, I know, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, what do I want to make her? I always tend to do the same thing and I, sometimes I'll randomize it, but see, then I get these traits and I don't really want that. Um, let's make her, mm, I don't know. Should we make her love the cold? Yes, we'll make her love the cold because the cold is the best. I hate the heat and maybe we'll make her brave artistic maybe we'll make her artistic we're gonna go ahead and do that so she'll love the cold and be artistic so excited oh god that is so loud sorry if you guys can hear that hopefully he is kind of okay good our cat is doing good i do want to adopt either a dog or a cat so that heidi has a little bit of you know somebody when they all go to work which they all just got a promotion uh today because i let her go to work because i just i don't think there's a point of you know, her staying home from work all these days. So I went ahead and had her go to work while she was pregnant and everyone got a performance or a low, a, 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 a freaking job promotion. <laughs> I need to get myself some help. I didn't even tell you guys what jobs they have. She's in the political career. He is in the science career level four. He was in the business career at level four. And what level was she? Level six. So she started out a little bit um, higher up because she did graduate with an A. So now she wants to get married. 
So she does want to get married, but she doesn't specifically say that she wants to get married to him, which is a little bit weird. So let's see. And see, now he's not saying that either. So, okay, she needs some some love. And we are in the town of Lucky Palms as well, which I don't think I told you guys. And we're in what this, like, house over here. I just think this is so beautiful. And it's, like, a three-bedroom, so there is, like, plenty of freaking room. Sid, I'm going to have you kind of come out here and get the mail because I think we have mail. And you also need to take care of these plants that kind of came with the house. We didn't plant them. They were just here. <laughs> So what I want her to do after we go ahead and give her a bottle because I want her to not starve. <laughs> that would be kind of nice, but I kind of want to see it what his little gender preference is and see just kind of, you know, <gasps> confess to cheating. We're not going to do that because I mean I mean, we shouldn't be cheating. We're, we technically, the only, we, we haven't like kissed him or like woohooed or anything like that. They just kind of got flirty, which of course that is still cheating, but in The Sims and you know, it's different. It's different in The Sims. Just don't judge me. Um, she looks so upset, but I want to change her into her everyday wear so that you guys can kind of see her outfit because I think she's just the cutest thing and like look at her she's so cute I absolutely love her <laughs> okay I thought that the baby had red eyes and I was like okay I'm a little bit scared just a little bit but what we're gonna do is come over here to Miles and we're going to we are going to was it there why can't we ask him gender preference can you maybe ask him huh i wonder if there's a way that we can tell because for some reason it's not showing up there so maybe announce promotion now how come we can do it any other time but the one time i want to ask him ask for that day ask to be protected consider attractiveness okay so for some reason we can to ask him let me see if there's a way let's do enra's master controller um status uh personal maybe let's see uh lobster thermidor Artha completed no um hmm. Hmm. personality young adult no i wonder relationship Likes. Hmm. I guess we can't do that. That's a little bit interesting. Progression? No? Well then, I don't know how we can tell. Because usually it would come up in here and it would say ask about gender preference. Well, that's a little bit strange. So I will have to leave, if I can figure it out, like if I can figure out in the comments or in the, I'll leave it in the description below. But I wanted to kind of show you a couple things before I wrap this up. There are some pictures that they took in university. And of course, those are her little awards, which I can't remember what they are, but she's gotten two awards for, you know, graduating and then Let's see. Then that is their little, uh, this is both of their Miles and her, their degree. But I just thought these pictures were super adorable of them. And then we also have a ton in our inventory, which I will show you guys. That one did not turn out so well. But they had a little Halloween costume party. So there were quite a few that we took because I just thought it was so funny. And then there's one of her and Miles, which was really cute. And we just had a bunch of people, which was really fun. There's a hot dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but this one was like my favorite, the one with the like little Jason mask. I don't know why, I just thought it was so funny. And then there's one of her after she graduated. And then I can't remember what that guy's name is, but he was our he was our roommate. And then we have flowers that I'm pretty sure Sid gave us because we were hanging out and then they suddenly appeared. So it had to be him. Uh, and then up here is Sid's room and I thought it was really adorable because he has these two pictures, which this one didn't turn out, but he still loved it. He has two pictures of the two of them and I just... I don't know what to do about them. You know, it's just, it'll be very interesting. And I'm really confused why we can't. Let's see if we can maybe be a little bit nice. And it's kind of weird because the baby's skin looks like greenish kind of. So I'm thinking that he or she is going to take after her dad. So I'm going to give her her dad's skin whenever, um, whenever 
she ages up. So what I'm going to do is get a crib and I'm just going to plop it down really quick and see if maybe because we have a baby in our arms and we can't do like normal things because, you know, Sims problems. We can't do anything when we have a child in our arms. So we're just going to plop this here for now because I'm going to um, do a little room, the extra room, her room, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. So go ahead and put Chloe in the crib really quick. Don't even ask him about his day just yet. Go ahead and put Chloe in the crib. I mean, she's tired anyways, and let's see if we can maybe, let's ask him how his day is. We're going to go ahead and um, ask him about his degree. This is just crazy. I don't know why it's not showing up. It always shows up. Oh, so this is very, he's like, yes. <laughs> I just, I just don't know. I just don't know, you guys. Um, let's see here. Okay, you need to stand up and see. If not, then we're just going to have to figure out how we can figure it out. I, I really don't know how we can do that, but we're going to see. Can you please stand up and try this? Let's go ask him about his degree. Maybe we have to get a little bit, like, friendly with him. You know, we can't just be like, hey, what, what gender do you prefer when we're not being friendly? You know, that might be offensive. So let's see what happens if we get a little friendly. Can I set it, people? So oh, now she wants know. to watch the stars with him. Girl, you are only feeling romantic about him because you just popped a baby out by him. Uh, let's announce his promotion. Uh, maybe we can consider attractiveness because I don't think that I have done that. So let's just consider their attractiveness. Just because I'm a little bit curious. Grab a box. Alright, let's see. Now we're being social. Sorry place. if you guys heard that. I like hit my hand. Um, yeah, it just... You can't ask him about gender preference. I don't know what. Uh -huh. Let's see. Are they at least attracted? I'm pretty sure they're attracted to... Okay, so they are blindingly stunning. So basically, what I... He's like, what? What? Should we see what his... What their um attractiveness is? See, and we can't even ask him... Very weird. Very, very weird. But let's go ahead and consider their attractiveness really quick because I don't think I've done this with either of them. Um, but they're obviously attracted to each other. So, yeah. Question. If I can figure it out or I if I can find contacting. someone who oh. can find Not out if he is, maybe I can figure Talking. it out somehow or another. I don't know. Never wrong. Let's see. Uh -huh. and Ray Boo. If he thinks we're being that. alluring. And all we did was that. I consider our attractiveness. Oh my gosh, blindingly stunning as well. So I have no idea what is going to happen in this household because she is very, very suspicious. She is very suspicious of, you know, Miles not being into her, not being into women. She doesn't really know, but she also really has feelings for Sid. And, you know, they're kind of keeping that on the, on the low low because they don't want anybody to know about that. So it's kind of a little secret thing right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed my new current household. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you can figure out how to find out, you know, what, um, gender he prefers because I could not figure that out for the life of me. Leave a like on this video if you guys are enjoying it. Go ahead and subscribe before you go if you've not already. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when I upload, which is every single day except for Sunday. And as usual, I love you all so very much and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys. Oh